Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. Yeah, so obviously that was an edited clip from uh, the Whatever podcast. Shout out to Job of the Hut. But to be honest, man, uh, the answer that this individual gave was not really that far off from the delusion that you would normally hear from a normal woman. I'm Allie, but I'm known for Al Weezy. I'm 23 years old from Arizona, and I'm your certified bad bitch. Your, huh? The certified baddie. Say, um, your, say your occupation one more time for just, us. Just so they can, yeah. My occupation is a certified bad bitch. What does that mean? <laughs> can you explain that? It's just a lifestyle. Like, it's, I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. I mean, I feel like every girl, can, every woman can be a certified baddie. It's just the mindset, and it's a full-time job. If there was a dictionary, and you were hired by Webster's to define mm. certified bad bitch, is that what it is? Yes. How, what, what would be the dictionary definition of a certified bad bitch? I would have to say, I mean, if just like toning it down completely, just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else, just women, whatever, men, whatever, anybody can be a certified bad bitch. Is it's that just, the, it's is, just, I think it's just the level of confidence and it's the mindset for sure. Is that the uh, occupation you list on your taxes? Oh, for <laughs> sure. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Very much that. Very much the vibe. Do a little fit check, I guess. <laughs> okay. Scale of one to ten. So let's do that. Ten. Um, Kiko. So okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Ten. A fat fucking ten. A fat fucking ten. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Okay. Period. Yeah. So, yeah, so a fat fucking 10 for uh, this individual. I believe Ali is his name. Uh, maybe he was born Albert. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, insane for uh, Ali, I guess. So the delusion of, of this person, certified baddie, uh, he believes himself to be a 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> and to be honest, this is just insane. Like, let's just shoot out the, the, the elephant in the room, Okay. Um, this is an individual who's mentally ill, um, bad bitch. He's a fat bum. I don't even think he's had surgery to be honest. He doesn't look like he's had any surgery. He just either grew out his hair or put on a wig and then called himself a, a woman. <laughs> and, um, but obviously with these dating shows, they ask particular questions. One of those questions that I found very interesting was about relationship status. I'm very much as single as they come, and my longest, uh, I guess no real relationship yet, but my longest talking phase has have to be almost a year, I'd have to say. Longest talking phase? Yeah. Have you Have you ever had a boyfriend? Um, no. I'd like, officially, no. Okay, but you have had, like, a long -term. concurrent period of time, like, a, you said a one-year period of time where you did yeah, have... very much like a year-long talking stage. Year-long talking stage. Yeah. What, what is... Talking stage, so what... What is that? If anyone else wants to chime in, what is the talking stage? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a question of loyalty, honestly. Like, you're just wondering at that point if you're in the talking stage. Yeah, what did, what did that mean for you? They, they couldn't have explained it any better. It's literally hell. Like, Purgatory. It tests your loyalty, absolutely. Did you want commitment, but he wasn't willing to give it? Uh, basically. Basically, it was what it was. Um, yeah. So a one year talking stage, apparently. Um, and I'm not too sure what she means or, or they mean by talking stage. I would assume it's just casual sex. So casual sex with a guy for a whole year is God bless that individual because, um, boy, he is a trooper, I must say. Anyways, so uh, remember that this person explained never been in a relationship at all has got a one one year talking stage. So that leads to this clip, which we're going to be reacting here when Brian, the host finally basically asks, Hey bro, do you get bitches? I guess you could say like, I don't know. I kind of get the impression. Like, I feel like you got game. So like, do you get mad bitches? 
Uh, honestly, yes. However, let me clarify something. Do, am I, I, I feel like the older that I'm getting, I'm washing them away. Why? Because I'm getting older. I want a man who you, loves me 23? openly. You're 23. Yeah, I'm 23. You're 23. But you like, got plenty honestly, of time to, to well, no. sow okay. the wild oats. Let's be. Okay, all right. Let's, let's be for reals here, okay? 23 years old, and this individual, this gentleman right here is saying, you know what? I'm 23 years old. I'm looking, you know, I'm getting older. I want to settle down. I want uh, somebody that loves me for me. You know what? That's great, bro. That is great, especially if you were a real woman. If every woman said, man, I'm already hitting 21 I'm hitting 22. I need to settle down, get married, have a family. That's amazing. Yes, that's great. Unfortunately, he's not a real woman, which is why he's saying that. And I'm just speculating. I don't know for sure, okay? I don't know if he gets mad bitches. I seriously doubt it, though. But <laughs> but what I'm saying is I, uh, I have noticed that men usually lie about their body counts, tend to add in more than what, what it actually is. So I think this dude is... Basically shooting to the direction like, yeah, I get a lot of chicks, but, you know, or get a lot of guys, sorry. And <laughs> I need to settle down. This is why I'm rejecting it now. Is that how that goes? Let's spill the tea real know. quick, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's spill the tea. My experiences from dating are way more different than theirs. No I'm shit. a trans girl. Like, men, honestly, like, it's so fucking rare that you ever even find a guy that's being like, let me take you out. Let's go see a movie. Let's go have dinner. No, they're just trying to fuck. They I'm a fetish. Want. I'm a fetish to like 98% of those fucking guys. Mm. You know? So my thing right now is like, okay, yeah, sexually I can probably have whatever the fucking guy I want to. I don't think she's a fetish to 98% of guys. And not only that, the dating experience of like guys wanting to fuck. I, dude, that's every girl is running into every guy that talks to you wants to fuck you. <laughs> that's nothing... That's nothing uh, special about you, man. You sure about but, that? <laughs> no, honestly, like, there has not... I'm going to be 100% honest. Like, if I genuinely like that guy, or if I, like... Oh, like, you know... There's nothing there, godly about yeah. you. Yeah. Not you, sir. Like, if I'm attracted to them sexually, like, there's... I've... 90, like, 95% of the time, I'll get it. However, I'm getting to a certain age now, like, a level of maturity... Where it's like, okay, sex is just sex at this point. I want intimacy, and I want it outside of closed doors. Yep, you want uh, something that's not shallow and superficial. You want more than just sex. Yeah, like, yeah. I, 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 I... Yeah, this dude's talking like a 35-year-old girl who's hit the wall unmarried. Like, that's what, that's what she's, he's talking like. Yep. Like, I crave intimacy. Like, and honestly, like... I that's something that I want long term and, and I'm I'm it's at every a, a level of maturity like I said I'm clearing the fucking roster I don't give a fuck if you're huh. a fucking football player if you know so and so person if you know <laughs> X Y and Z like I don't give a fuck like Cle clearing the roster what do you mean by by that do you have confirm or deny do you have, do you have blue checks there a roster? in your DMs yeah you just running through famous dudes whoa whoa listen to that he asked he asked him do you have blue check marks in your DMs as in on Instagram the blue checks are they blue checks coming to you? The rich men. The rich men are coming to you. I wouldn't, yes. I'm not going to be like talking like, yeah, I have hundreds, but I have like a good amount. But you said a roster. So like, what question for you, what's the most amount of people that you've it's dated? Cat, bro. All at once? All at once. Like in rotation? Sure. Same time, rotation, however um, you want to. Honestly, like three in oh, rotation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, like I'll have men. I'm like, okay, this one's annoying me. Like, okay, it's time to clear his ass. I'm gonna bench this person right there. <laughs> Do Benched. you meet men it's like March Madness out here? Honestly. <laughs> Damn, man, this 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 dude really has it down of how women talk. Like, like no joke. Uh, oh yeah, I clear out the roster. Oh, this guy's weird. I'm gonna get rid of him. Oh, this guy came on a little too strong. Oh, whatever. Uh, this dude. You know, he has a broken down car, going to not date him. You know, like women weed out men that way. And this dude <laughs> in a wig is talking just like that. He's saying, oh, the abundance mentality that women naturally have. And um, wow, man. I mean, I seriously, seriously doubt it. This, this dude has deep blue check marks, like rich men hitting him up. Uh, I don't I mean... Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think so. Being honest out here. Honestly, <laughs> can I go okay, So I did the dating app thing. 
like I said, it was a full fetish. Like that's all it was. So I did you put it on up. your? Sorry. So how did do they know that you're trans? <laughs> that's yes. what I was gonna ask. 100%. Do you put it out there? I don't care how passable you are. I feel like you have to disclose. respect. Res yeah, you're not passable at all, though. But respect. I mean, and this is why. Very because important. Okay. Okay. You know what? I, I can kind of see maybe there's some truth to that. You're on the dating app. Guys ain't, you know, even, I think even gay dudes, like dudes that are open, uh, that, that have sex with transvestites, I don't even think they're going to commit to this, this dude. <laughs> like, to be honest, man. They're especially like, ding. Like, like there's like, okay, let's say I go out on a guy and the sex, and honestly, you know, I'm going to talk about this right now. At my, at my job. Do it. Let's go. No, at my job, I had an experience with an old coworker. I'm not gonna say my my what I what my real Say his is. full name. No. no. <laughs> What's his social security? I'm not security. gonna say his name. But yeah, I'm curious I, I to know what this guy looks like. Because long story short, he basically said that if he went on like a a day with a trans girl and he didn't know that she was trans, and she is like a fucking baddie, like I'm talking ass, titties, like operating, you don't even fucking tell. Like this is the baddest bitch, and he found out that she ass. was trans. He said that he would feel the need to bring out his weapon. Oh, oh. shit. Yeah. Exactly. So, that's so a safety yeah. issue. it's yeah. a safety issue. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what you are. Like, I feel like you can be the most cuntiest, like, fucking bad bitchery, like, passable girl. I feel like you have to disclose. And I get oh, yeah. it. Right Some on. girls, yeah. like, I kind of come into a pride thing, too, with trans girls. It's like, well, I work so hard to get to my womanhood and blah, 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 blah. I get that, and I fully respect it. Like, whatever you want to be still. But when it comes to a man, and especially in dating, and this, like I said, this is my opinion. And, and like, if any other, like, trans in, girls are watching, the, the, or if any other mic. trans girls are watching, any of the dolls are watching, hit my DMs because, and dolls. if I'm saying something that's misinforming, <laughs> educate me because i'm totally open to that but you know it's funny how how he says that because he has to make sure like yo maybe i'm i'm saying something wrong dm me like correct me if anything but what what he's implying is correct like you gotta there are men out there that that they find out you're a tranny you've been making out with them they'll they'll put some holes in you man like it's as simple as that or they'll punch you or they'll beat you up or, or something like there's a safety issue there so I completely agree with that. But I feel like when you're one of the dolls, you have to disclose when it comes to dating because this is how there's things like murders, violence, you know, X, Y, and Z. This is how trans girls like end up in sticky situations nine times out of ten because they don't disclose. However, right. however, X, X, however, X, Y, and Z, however, particularly will, X and Y. I will say that. <laughs> however, I will say, though, that being in the social scene, I can walk into a bar and I'm the most confident bitch ever. A man will still go out of his way. And these are the ones that I'm talking about that are like little closets or whatever you want to call them. Be like, tranny. I, <laughs> I agree. I've heard, I've heard the same You're thing from yeah. some of my friends. They're like, but if I found what? out, because I went to Thailand and they're like, bro, like the lady boys, whatever. <laughs> I didn't do anything. No, yeah. oh, that, 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 I mean, but they're they like, if I if I found them. out that because a lot of them are really believable, like they get their no, Adam's gorgeous. apple shaved oh, down, gosh. they get their dick cut off, like they get everything <laughs> Fine, done. Bro. And yeah. I've heard the same thing from like a couple of my friends. They're like, yeah, like I'm like I'm swinging if I find out that. Yeah. Wait, so Sam, so in a, in, no, I'm agreeing I, with you. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. This Sam, is why I fully oh. always recommend to the dolls, to all of my trans girls. Even trans men, like anybody, whether Gotta it's a situation like that, you have to Gotta, disclose. Gotta disclose. I 100%. Like, good, even I, when yep. it comes to dating apps, like you asked me if I put in there, hell yeah, I do. The Mad first, respect to like, you. You're Mad not, respect. I'm not going to risk myself fucking being in a situation where something stupid could happen to me over something that, one, I could have easily prevented, and two, because I don't want to spend my time with somebody who's ignorant or right. who doesn't agree with me. Then that's on them. I respect your opinion, but you know what? It's not <laughs> worth my time. That's no personal that responsibility that us conservatives love. Okay, yeah, um, I can agree at the end there. I think there's a little bit of a redemption uh, to this uh, uh, to Al over here. Um, but yeah, I def definitely agree with that. Uh, don't ever put yourself in a situation where you could potentially be in danger, right? Even if you're a regular woman, you know you don't you don't walk through a dark alley by yourself at three in the morning, right? I mean, there's just basic common sense uh, things that you could do. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below all your thoughts. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.